Hi, my name is Brian Norton, and I'm with the In Data Project here at Easter Seals Crossroads. Today we're going to take a look at a neat app called Digitize that helps folks scan barcodes to learn more about the products we're looking at. Hi, my name is Jim Reinhardt. I'm an assistive technology specialist here at Easter Seals Crossroads. Uh, today I'm going to show you a quick demonstration on the Digitize app. I've got it loaded on an iPad today. I'm going to use it there. It also will work on an iPod or an iPhone as well. So uh, in a second, I'm going to show you the app and how, how it works to scan products. It's great for folks who are low vision or no vision, as it, as it works well with VoiceOver to identify products as you scan the barcodes. Hey, at this point, I've already launched the app, and the choices are here. The first one I'm going to show you is scan. Again, VoiceOver is on on this iPad, so I'm going to double tap to tap that. And then I'm going to bring a product into view and the nice thing about this app is that you just kind of keep moving the product around until the camera finds the barcode. Looking up barcode. Yeah. No bone healthy favorites all natural granola biscuits 18.0 ounces box. So that's Button. so that's what it does. When it identifies the barcode it will uh, tell you it's looking for a barcode and then it will come back with a description of what the barcode is. And then if you are done with that, you simply will double tap again done. and it brings Stay. you back to this. Okay. Now to show you just another example, here's a box of Cheerios. Again, I'm going to double tap on the scan button. Scanning. Tap twice to cancel. Okay, so I'm kind of moving the box around, trying to hold the camera fairly still, and and I find Looking the bar barcode. General Mills Cheerios cereal gluten free 12.0 ounces box. Done. Okay. Button. So that's great. So Done. there, it's got a database in there of of. Uh, products that it will find for you leading the barcode, but what if there's something that maybe it doesn't recognize? So I've got a have a local private label product, a Door County Mustard from Wisconsin. I want to see if maybe if it actually will read this. So I'm going to try to scan it as well. So I'll double tap to scan. Tap twice to cancel. And again I've got the jar of mustard in front of me. I kind of scan around. Looking up barcode. Barcode not found. Tap record or enter description to enter. Own description. Okay, so now this one it didn't find because it wasn't in the database. So now what I can do, scan. I can kind of use my use front finger search. swipe, enter description. Record. come down to record, Start talking after the beep. and after I double tap, it will look, record it. I can enter a verbal description of it. Stop. Door County Hot Mustard. Rear Play. Button. Okay, so now I can play it just to listen. Door County Hot Mustard. Okay, done so that sounds, that sounds pretty good. So I'm going to go down to the done and go back. And I'm going to need to go back to done again. And this time I'm going to try to scan again. And I'm going to try to scan this, this jar of mustard. Looking up barcode. Door County Hot Mustard. Done playing. Button. Done playing. Okay. So if it doesn't find it, you do have the option of enter, entering a description, typing it in, or actually making a recording of the description if you know what it is. The other thing that we can do with this Done. app Done. is we can make a list. Button. So I will make like a grocery list. So I'll come with a list. list. Back. Right now I don't have a list of anything in here so I'm going to list. kind of swipe Create list. New list. down to new list and double new tap. New list. Cancel. Button. And then I can new list. Uh, done. Button. Please enter a name for this list. Name. I can, I can make it a name. Double tap to edit. I'm going to double tap to edit. Text field. And I'm going to come down here to the microphone and double tap and just name it something. Jim's list. Done. Thinking. We have to edit this. This list. 
list. Inserted Jim's list. Okay. All right. So now it's got the name of the list in there for me. And now I can go Done. back up here Done. to Done. Done. Jim's now list. I have a Jim's list. list. And I can come down here, yeah. down into the scan button, and double tap it to scan. Tap twice to cancel. And again, I will put this Door County mustard in my shopping list. Looking up our code. Jim's list. List button. Okay, so that's in there from before. We're gonna come down to scan. Scan button. And I'm going to go back to, back to my box of Cheerios. That in there, it now General has. Cheerios, cereal, gluten -free, 12 ounces box. It's now just added Actions that available. to my to my grocery list. I had to scan it twice that time, but it's, it, you are able to make a, a like a list of items from this. So that is. I'm going to go back to list. I'm going to go back, back. and back brings scan. me back button. to my screen where I'm ready to scan or make more lists or whatever I want to do with it. So that is the digit eyes barcode scanner uh, app. Uh, it's $9.99 on the App Store and I uh, hope you find it useful. So that's a great look at a low-cost barcode scanning app for folks who are blind or visually impaired. That's your tech tip for this week. My name is Brian Norton with the InData Project at Easter Seals Crossroads in Indiana.